All right, what is up guys? It's of course not raining when I'm home after a long day, went to two different lakes. Fortunately, I could not record anything. It was downpouring. I didn't have a cameraman. And as you guys can see, I mean, I have everything. My boots are all muddy, my rain gear, super slosh, messed up and, and um, yeah, my rain gear and my mics, they'll just get ruined. I know the GoPro is waterproof, but but even so. So on this episode, we're gonna be doing a taste test because I did catch my first species. I wish I would've recorded it for you guys and for myself. Lightning trout, rainbow trout, let's check it out. Check that out, guys. So I ended up getting two rainbows and this beautiful lightning. So we're gonna be doing a taste test. I'm not too sure what kind of recipe. I'm gonna be making them both the same, but I wanna see what the difference is of what it tastes like. So that's what this episode's gonna be about, a taste test with two different fish. So we'll see you guys in the kitchen. going on guys my name is Ernie this is my YouTube channel I fish fresh and salty and today we're gonna to be doing a clean and cook guys unfortunately I went out as you can tell I have two rainbow trout and my first beautiful unique species of a lightning trout guys check that out just gorgeous fish that we that they do have these um, in our area of our of our lakes and some ponds as well but um, yeah, so we're going to be doing a uh, just a recipe here for you guys and for my family. We have a couple people coming over, so going to make something pretty delicious, pretty something different that I have not um, made before. So I'm excited to do it. And I'm going to show you guys, I already did prepare my two rainbow trout exactly like how I'm going to be showing you guys here. So if you guys are new to my channel, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit those likes as well and notifier. Go ahead and hit that little bell and it notifies you when I do put up new videos, guys. So I greatly appreciate it and uh, welcome to everyone that is new. And let's go ahead and get started here, guys. So what, I'm, what I already did do, guys, is I already, as you can tell, I already cleaned out the cavity here, took out his gills. So what I'm gonna be doing is first thing, uh, you can use anything. I like to use like a spoon. Uh, trouts actually just have barely, as you can tell here, let's see here barely any kind of scales here, right? So, but I am gonna be uh, scaling these guys. So I like to, preferably, um, I would like to just have it, you know, complete whole and then just go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and uh, scale him. But since it is about a couple days later, caught him about three days ago. And so I, I, mean, I knew people were coming over for dinner and I wanted to do a taste test challenge with the rainbow trout and the lightning trout. So um, I would have already had scaled it before, before I actually opened up the cavity. But let's go ahead and uh, just uh, take all these scales out and then I'm gonna wash them out. And then I'm gonna show you with uh, uh, cutting out some of the fins, his head and so forth. So very easy to, to, to scale these guys. Pretty cool, man. Like, look at this beautiful, like, orange sherbet. Because when you scale these guys, it's like a like a mud, silver, galaxy gray type of uh, scales that come out, and just such a pretty fish that we're scaling up here. And uh, like I said, I like to use the spoon. Spoon works a lot. You know, you can use a knife or anything that you that you prefer. And I like to like set him down like that, and then you get like the belly fat here and. Just works out a little bit better for me. Just my technique, guys. What I do, how I how I clean them, with rainbow trout. So, all right, guys. We just finished going to clean up our, our uh, fillet table here. Uh, the lightning trout is completely uh, scaled. So next step is here. We are going to use my Dexter knife, guys. Tiger Edge eight-inch blade. So it's like a charade blade. So it's gonna take off all like. Perfect for like taking off heads or going through your bones. So let's take that off. Uh, next one, let's go ahead and take off a little bit of the belly fat that I like to take off. And I'm gonna be taking off this uh, back fin here. Uh, also using the same, same blade. 
It's a nice swipe down, beautiful sharpness on this knife. Same thing, let's go right there. All right. Next one that we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be going over to a, also the same brand, Dexter, a six inch um, fillet knife. It's like a bony knife. So I'm gonna use this, uh, I forget what exactly what this is called on, a, on an actual trout, but um, then we're gonna go ahead and just take out every single fin. So technically it's like you're filleting the fin, the fin out of there, just because like the way that I'm gonna be preparing this meal with this fish, uh, it works best having all the, comes out perfectly guys, takes all the bones, your fin. I know people like to crisp them up, but today, it's not what we're doing here today. This little, this little uh, fin right here in its back. Let's take it out like that. And one more. We're gonna use the actual, uh, back to the six inch blade. Just go along the meat. You can feel the bones. Flip them over, go on the other side. See if I could just pull them out. Perfect. And that's all of our fins, except the last one is our tail fin. Let's go ahead and with the charade knife. Boom, take that out. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, score him last. Not all the way through, just slightly. Nice sharp blade, just barely putting any pressure. Flip them over. Same thing on this side, barely any pressure, because we're gonna, the, the sauce that we're, I'm gonna be applying this, it's gonna go perfectly. Look at this, guys, perfect. We got our lightning, we got our rainbow, and we got our other lightning. These are all about uh, two, pound light, uh, two pound trouts and they're about 17 to 19 inches, and we're gonna be using them in our grill, so we're gonna get that fired up. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome to my first voiceover. I did have technical difficulties with my mic. I'm not too sure what happened, but let's get this video started with this voiceover so pretty much here guys i did make a puree sauce with a bunch of garlic cloves fresh garlic cloves a whole white onion and some avocado oil to make that amount i mean you guys could put whatever amount i did coat these three uh, trout with all of these um, with all of this puree sauce so first things first we're going to be putting some sea salt Right now I'm checking uh, the temperature of my um, of my grill, so that's what I'm doing. So right now we're gonna be doing a um, both sides of the fish and inside of the cavity of the fish, we're gonna salt him. Then we're gonna be putting the fresh ground pepper. So right now we're just putting inside the cavity. So I just finished putting the sea salt and the fresh cracked black pepper on these three trout. Now, next step for the best step is this delicious chunky, I minute mean semi-chunky uh, garlic, onion, oil, puree sauce. So pretty much I'm going to lather this guy inside of those scores that I did make on the fillet table. We're going to put it on both sides of the fish, inside of the cavity. We're going to make it just so much flavorful and that aroma as you just noticed i smell it just like fireworks on fourth of july guys it's absolutely smells ridiculous so please give this a shot whenever you guys do catch a fresh fish or even if you just buy it from the supermarket so pretty much i'm just lathering up and getting ready for the grill all right let's get ready for the grill look how pretty those look guys so flavorful with that chunky puree sauce. Look at this, we're gonna open them up. I mean, look at that, guys. My mouth is actually watering as we speak. I hope yours is too. So I do have these heavy duty non-stick black mats. I actually have two of them on top of my grill. So we are gonna be putting these fish 
on those mats. So right now what I'm saying is about that I have ceramic up on top on that grill. I don't, it's not fully ceramic, but partially. So I'm hoping to get that, that heat circulating just up above those mats and to the top of the grill. So let's go ahead and lay these guys down. I mean, look at these, these are nice chunkers. They are about two pounds, like I mentioned earlier. So, I mean, look at that guys. I do have that leftover. I mean, look how the fish is sizzling. Beautiful. And so I do have that leftover sauce and I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply it because that's, that's our main ingredient, our main flavor on this trout. <laughs> to flip they've been about on there for about five six minutes just on one side I did have the lid closed for a little bit I was going on and off so look at my big fish spatula it's pretty cool it actually comes in handy when I'm doing my outside grilling or either on the flat grill but check that out guys look at those grill marks those grill marks are coming from underneath that black mat and we're just flipping the fish and it just the smell I, I wish you guys could smell it. It's just, it's unbelievable with this prairie sauce. I'm definitely gonna be doing it again, especially on different types of fish, but check that out guys. Looking good, smelling good, and I do have leftover like how I said, and we're just gonna just reapply it with our clean hands that I do have. I'm just keeping, keeping making sure that they are clean. And yeah, we're just gonna be putting it on just a little bit at a time, and it's looking good. And there goes another about four to six minute guys on the other side. So we're just going to go ahead and flip them back. I did believe I flipped them like twice and that's pretty much it. So now all the flavors have been fused inside of that lightning trout and rainbow trout. It's almost time to serve it up to the fam and taste it out. That's it. Rainbow trout are ready to go. Flip them a couple times. Nice and sizzling. I mean, look at that presentation, guys. Looking good. The smell, once again, is to die for. So we're about to put this on another clean baking sheet and let's go ahead and serve them on there. And then we're gonna be going on to the table. We're actually gonna be eating outside. So I'll see you guys over there. Finally, the best part of this video, guys, us actually eating it, tasting it. And once again, this is a lightning trout, rainbow trout test challenge. So taste challenge. So I'm just preparing the first dish right now. So I did cut them up into like little, little steaks, I guess you could say little, so that we do have the lightning and the rainbow trout. Everybody's going to get a piece of that. And of course, some right sticky, right rice that we're going to be having. It always goes great with the fish. So pretty much I'm going to end up making it for everybody. We do have people inside, but I do have my family right here on the outside table and let's go ahead and try it out. So let's get to business. We do have my brother Eddie, my sister's boyfriend Mason, there's my sister in the pink sweater, my mom in a jacket, and my two little kids, and my little dog. So right now my brother is tasting it out. I'm not too sure which one he's trying out first, but I am going to try to remember what he was saying. Um, so pretty much he was saying about the lightning trout. It's obviously that aroma of that puree sauce he's talking is just absolutely phenomenal. The lightning trout does not have, uh, does barely has any bones, not like a regular rainbow trout has. He likes the taste of it. It's super less mild than a regular rainbow. We love fishy taste. Obviously, like kids, they don't really like that fishy taste. So he likes it. Lightning trout for my brother. Good job, Eddie and for Mason. So I'm not too sure once again, guys, which one he's trying, but he's saying it's not fishy. Mason is saying it's not fishy. He likes the lightning trout 
way better because we always, we only eat rainbow trout. I've never caught a lightning. None of us in the table there have caught a lightning. So we actually know exactly what a rainbow tastes like. And he's just comparing the, you know, both of them. And same with Mason. He's just saying less bony and perfect. Good job, man. So lightning for him. Oh, there goes my son too. He's saying thumbs up. He tried a little bit. Not really a fish guy, but um, there's my sister, my beautiful sister, guys. And she's trying out the fish. This girl does not, right now what I'm saying is she does not like fish at all because obviously fish is fishy. A lot of people have those taste buds, but she is explaining that it's just no fish taste. She tastes that t uh, taste of the that puree sauce. So right now I'm just pointing at her and I'm just honestly explaining like my sister does not like fish at all and she actually joined us with this meal so I'm super happy that she actually tried it out and she loved it so that means that that sauce guys is an A plus there's my awesome mom guys awesome cook where I learned it from and she's trying obviously both of them as well lightning and rainbow and she obviously I've made so many different uh recipes with trout rainbow trout and she also notices the difference between the lightning and the rainbow and she goes it's just phenomenal she loves the sauce she actually loves fish so it's kind of hard for her to decide which one it is but she does say it's less bloody like the less like less bloody um the, the lighting have like a lighter bloodline than a rainbow trout does it's a lot darker but she also did agree with everybody else that the lightning trout is much better, like kind of like a sweet taste to it. So that's pretty cool guys. So everybody right now is one, two, three, and four. Everybody agrees lightning is a lot better. Like how I said, we only have tasted rainbow. So, so far lightning is gonna be the winner because I'm trying it out right now guys. Mason is holding the camera and I believe we are trying the lightning first. And he goes, okay, that's awesome. There you go, guys. So I'm agreeing with everybody else. I love fish and I love everything about it. And it's exciting that I actually caught one. I wish I had it on camera. So pretty much we're trying the rainbow trout. I'm loving the sauce, guys. That sauce is unbelievable. I just couldn't get that sauce out of my mouth. That flavor, that taste is just aromatic inside of your mouth. So please go ahead and try that out. I'm just probably talking about the differences on the trout, but unfortunately, since we can't, I don't remember what I'm saying. So I'm agreeing, you know, it's obviously I have rainbow trout. Rainbows do have a good amount of bones, especially eating it whole and the lightning, um, has a lighter bloodline because I was the one that cleaned it up and it was like just kind of like a regular red color and then like a rainbow is like a dark 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 red so that, that's why a lot of kids or just people that don't like you know the actual fish fish taste of a trout that's what it is but it's just really good lightning I can't wait to catch obviously a lot more um, I'm so glad that I got this off my bucket list guys so I'm so happy that you guys are watching this. Once again, I'm sorry about this voiceover. I'm not really fond of it, but I didn't want this video to go to waste. So I hope you guys did enjoy this recipe. Please try it out. Please subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of more cleaning cooks. Let me know in the comment below, guys. And I greatly appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on that next adventure. Later, guys.